This is the wide grip lat pull down, a great exercise for the lats as well as the muscles of that upper back, or more specifically the teres major and minor. Using a wide grip versus a more narrow grip is going to allow you to get a little bit more tension through those teres and help you get a wider back. The setup is very straightforward and very similar to a regular lat pull down. The only difference is that we have those hands a little bit wider. Before we get into that, let's just start from the ground up, especially if this is your first time doing this exercise or any lat pull down variation. First up, let's talk about that thigh pad. One, you want to have it far down enough to where you are nice and snug into the machine and you're not swaying up and down. Feel nice and secure in that seat, but also you want to make sure that that thigh pad is right there halfway along the thigh, as you can see right here. It's going to position you in the right spot underneath that bar. And of course, those hands, we're having them towards the end of that bar to help us target more of those teres versus a regular lap pull down where we'd have those hands a little bit closer together. And also, you could use some wrist straps if you struggle with maintaining your grip during this exercise. And now into the execution of this movement, as you are going down, imagine like you're pulling downwards through those elbows and not just pulling down, but as if you're trying to pull those elbows in towards the side of your body. And on that way up, imagine as if you're slightly pushing those hands out to the side, this might help you get a little bit more tension still through those teres and less in the biceps and also imagine like you're still pulling down to keep that tension through the lats teres and the muscles of that upper back and we're also going to want a slight lean backwards about 10 degrees as you can see right here i'm not staying completely up and down vertical with my torso on this exercise as i'm pulling down i'm slightly leaning backwards to get more activation through those lats and also i'm getting a slight pause at the bottom especially on those first few reps towards the end it's going to get harder and harder but still try to do your best to get a pause at the bottom and always on that way up nice and controlled at least three seconds on that eccentric and allowing that torso to go back forward straight up and vertical to help you get a better stretch through those lats and get a better my muscle connection as you can see right here on that way down i am leaning backwards a little bit those 10 degrees and on that way back up i'm in line that torso to go back forward and to get a little bit better stretch through those lats and i'm bringing that bar up right up until that bend of the elbow almost completely disappears you do not want to lock out that elbow and extend that arm completely as you can see right here, I'm stopping right there and I still have the slightest bend at that elbow to keep tension through the back. As you get towards the end of your set, it's going to get kind of hard to kind of gauge whether you're reaching failure or not. But a good rule of thumb on this one is when you can no longer bring that bar below the top of your head, that set is done. Right here, I'm still knocking out those reps, although I couldn't go as far down as I did at the very beginning. But I'm still getting some partial reps out until right about here on this next rep, I'm not able to bring it down below the top of my head. And now that set is done, I reached failure. And all those partial reps, don't forget to keep control. Do not sway excessively with that body backwards and still trying to pause however far down you can get that bar. Like this video to support the channel and also subscribe for more tutorial videos just like this one. And now enjoy me doing a lat spread, back double biceps, some gym motivation for you. Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord, give me a sign, a sign.